Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to do this work units duration lab. The first thing we're going to do is take an Excel spreadsheet and import it into Microsoft Project. On the left, we have the Excel spreadsheet, and I've double clicked on it, and this is what's inside the spreadsheet. So we have the task names, the duration, predecessors, and some resource names. So let's open Project and import this spreadsheet. I'm going to choose a blank project. And I'm going to begin by saying file, open, put everything in the downloads directory. Uh, I'm going to say all files here. I'm going to choose the spreadsheet and say open. Then I'm going to go through this wizard next, new map, as a new project, and just click the tasks. And as you can see, the mapping is perfect, um, so I don't really have to edit here. And I can just say next and finish. And this is what I get. Now in the green box here, uh, there's a link called tasks. If you click on it, you can see how the project is supposed to be laid out. We have planning, server, hardware testing, installation, and training as our main um, headings or summary tasks. The rest are all subtasks of these summary tasks. So I'm going to begin and create the summary tasks. This first one is a summary of the entire project. So I'm just going to take all of the items and indent them over one indent. And then the planning items are right here. And I'm just going to indent those. The server items are right here, and I'm going to indent those. And the hardware testing is just these two items. I'll indent that. The installation goes all the way down to the training. Indent that. And the rest are all training items. So I'll indent that. Next, I'm going to deal with the dates. Um, I'm going to delete these dates, which just came in uh, on their own. So I'm just going to highlight the dates, and then I'm just going to press Delete. And you'll notice under Duration Summary Tasks, they disappear as well. Then I'm going to go to the Project tab first, and Project Information. And uh, I'm going to set this start date to next Monday, so it'd be Monday the 25th of March. So I get a fresh day to start the project on. So it's best if you fill this in first. Then I can choose the exact same date right here. Now I'm gonna to go to the Tasks tab, and over here, uh, I'm gonna highlight all of this again. and I'm going to push auto schedule. And if I take a look, um, things look okay. Uh, the reason the Excel spreadsheet had 51 days and this spreadsheet has 41 days is because weekends were included in this spreadsheet and Microsoft Office has weekends excluded. The next step is I'm going to save this uh, I'm working in the downloads directory, so I'll just save it with the same name, and I'm ready to go on to the next step. The next step is to mark everything complete except for the last three items. So to do that, I already have the indicator column, with, which is the checkmark column on the far left. That was already there by default. So I'm just going to highlight all the items that I want to mark complete or check off and except for the last three. And the best way to do that is to go to the tasks tab and hit information and then just change this to 100 percent. Now you see the last three items, they shouldn't have got changed, so I'll just change those back manually. Uh, by double-clicking and putting a zero 
in the complete column. Next, um, we're to add a note to the completed task, uh, training at the first location, to indicate that the training actually took 20% longer. So to add a note, I'm just going to double click here, go to notes, the training took 20% longer than anticipated and just say OK to that and you see the icon there. Next is number three, save a baseline. OK, to do that, I'm going to go to project, set baseline, set baseline, the entire project's fine and say OK. The fourth step here is as a result of the incorrect estimate for training the users, we will increase the estimated training time for the second training session by 20%. So you can see that we have 6.5 days uh, suggested for the duration for the second training. So we're going to increase that by 20%. So we'll call up the calculator and we'll type in 6.5 and to increase it by 20 percent that would be 1.2 so it would take we should allow 7.8 days so we'll change this to 7.8 and it changes the uh, total length of the project but that's okay Next, uh, we have to save another baseline. So we go back to project, set baseline. And this, we already have this baseline, so we have to go to baseline one and set that. And now if you take a look, you've got two baselines. The last job is that the security uh, department wants a list uh, of the people that have completing tasks still to do and they want to know who's going to be coming in and out of the building. They want three columns, resource names, the start date, and how many days they're going to be allowed to come into the building. And they want the file called securitylist.xlsx. So to do this, we will go file export. Uh, for Excel spreadsheets, go down here, choose Save Project as Files, choose the Excel spreadsheet, and um, locate it in here. The file is supposed to be called security list .xlsx. Then you get a wizard. So it's going to be selected data, a new map, just the tasks and we're going to say we want the resource names first then you want the start time second and the third thing you want is the duration and everything's mapping perfectly looks good say next uh, actually go back this would do all the tasks um, and I just want the incomplete tasks so choose in, uh, incomplete tasks and then say next and then say finish. Nothing happens, but if you go and take a look in your directory, there's your new file, double click on it. And there's, this was an old one, or that was my original file rather, I should say. And this is what you get for the security department. Now the first two lines are meaningless, take them out and save that and that's the file that goes to the security department and that completes the lab uh, for handing it in you want to hand it you might as well hand in the ex these three files or these two files the project file and the security file 
Just upload those two to eLearn and you're done the lab. Um, one other thing about the, the lab, since it's a group assignment, you're supposed to put into the first column the uh, group member names. Uh, just beside the first task. That's it. Thanks for watching.